how it looks like Oracle is partnering with TikTok, which should enable it to keep that app alive and get White House approval. Non-acquisition, but a partnership. And ultimately, it's a win-win for ByteDance and TikTok. there's some head scratch or part of it, but ultimately it's not an acquisition. And when you take a step back, the whole point here was going to be that this had to be sold, whether it was Microsoft or Oracle, a partnership for Oracle, it gives them another feather in the cap in terms of a crown jewel asset in terms of TikTok, a stake, which helps its value from an investor perspective. And I think ultimately within the beltway, further cements Oracle's reputation. And of course, that relationship within the Beltway and Ellison, you know, probably just further helps this deal. There was an ultimatum to sell it. But I think what ultimately happened is, is that once China got involved, it really put a poison pill in the deal for the algorithm not to be sold. It's all about making sure the data does not go to China and their security issues. Oracle will now be a repository and really control of that data, which could ultimately make the White House and Trump sleep better at night, given that was the big issue here, although it still has not been approved by the White House. I do think from a content perspective, as well as some security issues, you'll see a little more scrutiny. So I think TikTok will go a little more along the lines of a Facebook, Google, we see YouTube, Twitter, in terms of some of the scrutiny of content, especially now with more of a big brother aspect with Oracle from a data perspective.